Hi there, so a quick look at um, Lightwave. Uh, a couple of things to have a look at are it actually consists of two programs. So we've got Lightwave Modeler for building models, and we've also got um, Lightwave Layout, which is your virtual studio where you get the lights and the cameras. So just be aware there are actually two programs you're looking at. So back into Modeler, um, a couple of questions came up tonight. One was how to build, uh, how to load two objects. So we're going to make a box. So this is object one, so creation box, drag it out, you can click and hold onto this so you can look around it and zoom around it, click on the middle to move it about, and when you're happy with what you've got, then you just hit the return key and that makes it. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to save object as and we'll call this box double nine. Okay. And then we're going to go and um file New, new object, just just off screen. Well, it's gone file new. So we've got nothing in this thing anymore. Make a ball this time, and that will sort of do it to the ball. That's sort of roundish, not that round. There we go. And we'll say happy with that, and that's the enter key. Uh, T for move. We'll just drag it up. Actually, we'll F2 it. Press F2. That centers it. Then hold down that, and we'll just move that up. So we're in the modify move. Got different tabs. All right, and the the question was, how do I get um, both models, the ball and the box, into one object? So let's go and save this out. So let's go file, save your object out, and let's call this ball trouble nine. Hit save. All we need to do, you can swap over. So you can see the box, and there's a ball. So go to box trouble nine. If you select nothing, if you don't actually select any of the, just drop that down. If you don't actually select any of the polygons. If you can select nothing, you can deselect things by clicking a dead area over here. That deselects things. You can copy, so Control C, you know, edit, copy. Okay, and then we can go over to the ball. We'll go to a new layer, we're on layer one. Click on to layer two, and we'll hit paste. So edit, and just go and paste. Okay, so now in ball trouble nine, we have on layer one the ball and layer two the box. I'm going to put them all in one layer. Let's just see where we're going with this. So let's um, zoom out slightly, click and drag, T to move, and put it next to it. Okay, what we're going to do now is going to go and cut this out. So edit, cut, just slightly off screen, and go to layer one, click on that, go edit, paste. And they're both in the same thing now. So now I can go file, save object as, ball. and box and hit save. Okay, so that's now called ball and box. So we have ball and box and we've still got the box layer here. So we can sort of close this object down. So file, <coughs> close object and uh, don't save. And what we've got now is just one object in there and it's got the ball and the box. Simple as that. Now if we want to go and send this over to layout, so we're in layout over here nothing's in there apart from your default camera and your default light. Go back over into Modeler. On the right hand side, go and click. You can say Send Object to Layout. And now you've got the object in Layout. Now, the interesting thing here is it's just one layer, so we haven't got separate objects. So, that whole idea of what Modeler is about, you can separate these out. So, let's go and select. Um, just drop the Move tool, so Spacebar to drop the tool. That'll change the, uh, the way the cursor looks. Select one of the polygons. The right hand bracket key, which is just to the left of your enter key. Okay, we'll uh, cut that out, go to layer 2, go to paste, and hit S for save. And then we'll see what we've got back over in layout. So, back over in layout, what it's done is updated it. And how this sort of works and communicates together is a third program called the hub. And the hub is like a communication program, it just keeps everything uh, tied together. So, back over in modeler. What we have is we've got layer 2 here is the box and layer 1 is the ball. Now let's sort of center things up because you'll notice that layer 2 is off center. Okay, and when we go over to layout, we'll see that when we select the box, the center point of the box isn't the center point of the box, the center point is of the world. So let's sort that out. So let's go back over to model. And all we're going to do is um, F2 this. So I'll just F2, that sticks it in the center. Hit T for move. I'm just going to drag it up 
so it's on the ground and hit S for save and same with this we're just going to go and F2 that drag it up actually we actually we'll just F2 that that'll be fine and I'll be right in the center hit save okay now back over to layout they're now both in the same place you'll notice that when we move the box it's nicely centered the actual pivot points in the right place and also if we go and select the ball that's in the correct place as well okay and we can put auto key on and we're done with that and that's cool and we can go to frame 20 we've frame 20 would be good there we go we can move that up and cool that and then we get an animation of the ball doing that how cool is that that's sort of average and we'll move the box away so move the box over here and we'll go to frame 40 I'll move it across to sort of there. Okay, so we get that now. Bang, 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 bang. And that will conclude this um, short little whiz bang video on Lightwave. Simple as that. Catch you in a bit.